Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we will discuss how to resolve a new issue with Shopify when you're using the Google Shopping and YouTube app. For some reason it submits a invalid value for the unit pricing base measure and the unit pricing measure. So how to resolve this issue is by going and apply a feed rule. When you're in Google Merchant Center you want to go to feeds And then when it loads you choose content API you then select settings once it's loaded oh sorry not settings feed rules and now what we want to do is click on the plus icon and begin typing pricing now you can see two uh, attributes unit pricing base measure and unit pricing measure so first what we want to do is click on unit pricing base measure what we want to do is cancel the data sources and what we want to do is add modification and then click on advanced operators here in the corner and then scroll to the right and here we can see clear we want to select that now click on OK. And on the right you can see the before and after. So now before it will look like this, zero unit pricing measure, blah blah blah. And then afterwards it's an empty value and that is what we want. We want an empty value. And now we click on save as draft. We want to repeat this step for the pricing measure. Uh, so we click again on the plus icon begin typing pricing and then unit pricing measure again we cancel the data sources we click on add modification select advanced operator scroll to the right and click on clear click on OK we can see again the before and after save as draft And now we want to click on apply. Normally what you want to do is reprocess the feed so that the product information can be updated with the feed rules. However, as you're using content API, there's no fetch schedule or fetch button that you can click on uh, within the settings. So what we need to do is actually create a supplement feed to apply uh, an update. So in the next video, I will explain how to do that. Uh, and I will share the link in the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one.